Let's begin with this new review of Mafia 2. You start off as Vito Scaletta, a man, a Sicilian man who got a, got back from the war and was given a pardon thanks to his good friend Joe Barbaro. All the missions you perform are anything you can do back in the Mafia days in World War time, World War II times, and maybe it's a little bit, a couple years after. Uh, you rise up in rank as a uh, hitman, I guess, or something, whatever the lowest guy is. So, gangster, let's we'll just say that. And you gain money, gain, gain a little fame within the crime family you're in, but then he eventually goes to jail. Uh, then you can perform many tasks that are in jail, which are basically cleaning the bathrooms, uh, joining fight clubs, and he's under the eye of one of the other people there. I don't exactly recall his name. He wasn't in the game that much. He was in the jail part, and then a little bit, a little bit afterward, and then at the last sequence. Um, <clears throat> let's see. When Vito gets out of jail, he's not one of those guys that's like, you know, give me a couple of days or weeks, let me settle back in. He's like, no, let's just get straight back to work. Then he rises up in rank again with a brand new family, and. He gets, you get all this money, like over $10,000, which is a lot back in those days. <clears throat> and the problem what happened, his house gets burned down, he loses all his vehicles, except for like two for me, and he has to find the people who did it to him. Well, game continues on, Joe does something really stupid. <clears throat> they come up with this plan on... You know, Joe ends up killing somebody that is highly known. And then everything goes to hell with them. They are they become marked. And Mr. Falcone, which is the first guy your character works for, goes after them and decides to uh, kill them. Well, at the end of the game, here's a spoiler. This is spoiling the ending. Uh... You end up killing Mr. Falcone, and the guy from the, the jail, he, he was out, like I said, and he takes you on a car ride and Joe. Problem is, they divert Joe off to a different area, and the guy says, Joe was not a part of the deal. So it makes you think that he died. Here's the problem, and that's where the game ends. So, they can make a sequel, but I wouldn't understand why. There's not really much left for Vito to do. But, it's all good. I mean, it, it was it was fairly good. Um, Gameplay-wise, gameplay is, you know, duck and cover, shoot, you know, third-person shooter. The fighting is pretty much side to side. There's no any other angle unless you move the camera. It's pretty much... Heavy hit, light hit, and dodge. You know, they call it block, but they dodge. But then you can do a dodge counter. You know, combat's not too different. You know, it's one-on-one -on -one fighting. There's no one else can come in and fight you, too. But I have... There was one instance where two guys were fighting me at the same time, so it was a little difficult. Um, guns. You can get guns from the World War One era up to 1950-some... Whatever year this was. 1955 or 56 or something. A lot of good guns, you know, the Tommy gun, greaser guns, a uh, couple pistols, shotgun, uh, World War II rifles, you know, good good arsenal for a game like that. Um, uh, Car-wise, you get, like I said, cars from those eras. You know, I I had a sports car because you had to drive fast, get away from the police. They'll pull you over if you're going like five over the speed limit. So, and you could do you could do bribes if they pull if they point guns at you you can put up a bribe just pull the money out they'll take it and they'll drive off or if you don't have any money you apologize and they walk away you know I guess it just depends on how far through the game you are uh, the game has about 15 chapters uh, most of them are about 20 30 minutes uh, it took me nine hours to beat the game good length good length I mean there's not too many side missions. You know, you can take a car to a chop shop, all, all the stuff like that. That's pretty much all you can really do and, to enjoy. You know, if you're getting money just by doing whatever, that's fine. Uh, you can stick up ha stick up stores, you know, go up, steal their money. With uh, uh, clothing stores, if the police have no idea who you are, 
You can basically go to a clothing store, push the clerk, take the money and walk out. It's not that difficult to perform. But there were some instances where I did that. People behind me, the customers, pulled out their guns and started shooting at me. But, you know, the gameplay is good. Um, let's go ahead and talk about uh, the story. The story itself is fluent, you know, Rio gets into jail by uh, giving out gas tickets or coupons. And one of the clerks uh, ratted him out. You know, it's re very realistic when it comes to the story on the way the game actually is. So, uh, if you like Mafia-style games, open-world games, uh, there's not too many car chases. I think there's maybe four or five. Uh, but it was mainly uh, third-person shooting and all that stuff. Uh, Mafia 2 would get a, let's say, 8 out of 10. Give it an 8 out of 10. Uh, only problems, um, uh, it doesn't have too many side stories, like I said. There's only a few, you know, you can't go around ask, getting favors and all that stuff like you do in other games. Like having mini games or something like that. But uh, it's a good game. Uh, it is no more than $20 now. It's very cheap. So if you like that style of game, I suggest picking up at GameStop. You know, you can get it used for a few dollars less and that'll... That'll be good, and if you have a GameStop card, of course, you get 10% knocked off. This is Delta Merits, signing out.